Hi, my name is Amanda Tugwell and I oversee all the girls sports and athletic programs citywide for the city of San Francisco in Rec and Park. When I came to San Francisco, I studied recreation, parks and tourism at SF State. And after I graduated with that, I moved on to Candlestick Park. I gained a lot of experience at Candlestick Park working there with the San Francisco Giants and the 49ers. And it definitely gave me that individualism and confidence that I needed to stand firm in being a female in a very sports dynamic facility. I would coach volleyball on the side here and there and as Candlestick Park closed down, uh, the city actually had me move into girls in sports. There's an immediate interaction and an immediate response when you work with kids. I think that's what draws other people to do this, similar to what drew me to come to America's Courts to begin with and for me to stay. I used to work in advertising as a media buyer and it wasn't fulfilling enough and I found an opportunity to be a writing coach. The moment is fleeting and you have to really take advantage of how you're gonna change and inspire a child by the words you say and the actions you do. We have over 30 different programs for girls in sports offered through Rec and Park. We have basketball, softball, volleyball programs. I started the very first volleyball league through girls in athletics and I've been very proud of what I've done with that. Being a leader for girls is one of my very big passions. And showing them where they can get confidence, being ambitious, and being a strong person within themselves. The girls in Sports has been around for about five years, um, programs that have been offered through recreation and park. I've been overseeing the programs for now about a year. Other than those programs that we offer throughout fall and spring, we also offer a summer camp, and we do two sports per week during the summer, and that's something where I've really been able to shine in my role. A couple years ago, we started the Civic Center Soccer League, and what an amazing opportunity it was and it is for kids in the neighborhood schools to come together every Friday in the Civic Center Plaza on green grass to run and play. You not only will see soccer and poetry, but you'll also see books. It's just really promoting literacy to our kids and giving them the tools to, to make it work at home. And really fortunate to see the Civic Center really grow. Girls get pressured a lot with society, and I know that's kind of obvious, but we see it every day in magazines, commercials, what the idea of a woman should look like. But I like to be a strong female role for these girls that come out and play sports because a lot of times they don't see someone strong in a female role with something that's connected with sports and athleticism. And I love that I can bring that to the table. So you got soccer, you got poetry, you got community service. We now have Field of Dreams. You know, we're, we're popping all over the Bay Area and we're excited with our growth as we um, share our mission with other schools across the Bay. To really build the confidence and character of these kids when they go out to play, you know, when they close their eyes and think, you know, why was I in America Scores? You know, we want to make sure, I want to make sure that they remember me and remember the other folks, you know, who made America Scores happen. Get out there and just do it. Who cares about what anybody else says? There's gonna be people and naysayers that come up to you and will wanna wreck your ideas. I've been, that's happened to me my whole life when I went out to Candlestick Park and wanted to start that whole idea of the tours and events. People were telling me no left and right. Whether you're going out for something that you're passionate about or whether you're going out for something that you just wanna grow in and I feel like people are always gonna say no as long as you find it within and it's strength and go out there and do it, get it done. I can be that strong, you know, leader, female, and I love that.